So this uh, program all came about from initially trying to keep snowblowers from damaging guardrail. And we still want it to do that, but snowblowers operate in places where uh, GPS just doesn't work. So I'm sure you can imagine when it's snowing really hard and you've got your headlights on and you're trying to see through the dark and it just looks like Star Wars going into light speed for 12 hours straight of a shift. And so that produces a lot of eye fatigue and a lot of anxiety when you, you go past a, a reflective road marker and you think, okay, I'm good. But then you've got a little ways to go before you get to the next reflective marker that you can see in a blizzard. And then you feel okay again. But then your anxiety builds up to the next. And so this system tells, tells them where they are exactly in the lane so that they can spend their energy on something other than eye fatigue and going through this stress anxiety cycle all day. Um, I think the technological advancements are, are great to be embracing um, as an agency. So what we're experiencing I think now on the operation side is a field which is typically more heavily involved in project management and construction being applied to operations. And it's providing us a, an avenue for a safer environment for our employees, for the public, and just operation of our equipment in general. We think that there's other uses for the system too. Um, you know, $25,000 for a system that's only useful in the winter, that might actually pay for itself, but it would be better if we can use it in the summer too. And so we're looking into how, the way that um, paint trucks operate, the trucks that spray the lines on the ground. We might be able to use this precision equipment into helping the drivers of those trucks get it right the first time and not have to do rework or to have squirrely lines for the next 10 years as well as uh, chip seal operations. When we put on a, a light coat of chip seal on top of the road, this type of, because that, that covers the paint lines on the road so the operators can't see them. But with a system like this, it could show them exactly where those lines are supposed to be. And so they can lay down the chip coat appropriately. And then we can repaint it all using the same data from the way the road was before. It will allow us to make an exact duplicate of the lane definition on a new road. If you consider walking out your front door after a pristine snowstorm and look out and the blanket of snow has covered everything and everything just looks perfect. Um, what that's hiding and what our operators are dealing with is everything that's underneath that. And so all the objects that are in place that are covered that they have to avoid while they're doing their daily maintenance activities, which is removing that cover of snow. So underneath that blanket are all these hazards, which are curbs. Um, they can be the edge of the roadway and this will hopefully delineate some of those areas so that they can operate in a safer manner. The information that the system gives the driver is really simple. Basically, it gives them a, a two-scale representation of the size of the truck that they're driving relative to the lane lines on the ground. And the system doesn't sense anything about its world around it. The lane lines are loaded into it. They're surveyed in using mobile LiDAR. The tablet is basically a moving map of where they are within the lane to survey grade accuracy. And they can pick, uh, let's say, the left edge of plow and the yellow center line. And it'll tell them exactly how far away they are from the center line and where their lane position is, or they can pick uh, curbs or fog line or other obstacles in the road.